Hello and welcome to Friday's bonus edition of Cracking the Cryptic. This is becoming a regular thing on the channel um, when one of Mark or, or I attempts the Times crossword, um, which is normally the hardest of the week, and I can confirm that the snitch rating, and if you've never studied the stitch rate, snitch rating, do have a look at it. I'll put a link to it under the video. Um, basically, it's a, it's, a, it's a way of grading every Times crossword according to the performances of the people who've already solved it. So if I go to stats here sometimes this fails on my computer no it's worked today um so if we just scan down M moan is very quick seven minutes misty gris is a real time i think the first six here are not real times these are these are so-called neutrinos people who type the answer in having solved it on paper uh, matthew marcus is verlaine uh, that, he's a very fast solver 824 that's slow for him let's go a bit further down uh, I think Henry White is Henry Blanco White, uh, once a holder of the listener crossword record. Uh, and he's a very good solver. Um, uh, so am I seeing any other names? I don't know. Tom Stubbs there. Tom, Tom Stubbs, I think, averages about 12 minutes to the puzzle. You can see 24 minutes today. So this is clearly a hard, a harder than usual times crossword. And I'm going to attempt to solve it for you live. So let's, um, let's click go. I think I'm on the right screen. And here we go. So Walker may use this stick <laughs> trick to take in silly sap. Uh, oh, okay, knapsack then. Right, okay, the, the only way I've solved that is I was looking at silly sap. Now, silly sap is a really strange expression. And I did think, oh, is that an anagram of sap? And if I'm putting an anagram of sap into something, that might, might be used by a walker. I then thought of knapsack and then I could see knack for a trick was on the outside. So knapsack is a great start there. Let's have a look at one down with a K. Kafka's first. Okay, so forget metamorphosis or something like that. This is a not, not about, um, what is it? Gregor, oh, I can't, I remember his surname. Anyway, um, Kafka's first is simply saying the first letter of Kafka. It's nothing to do with the author. And if it does now prove to be something to do with the author, I will be embarrassed. Um, novel cutting, if not authentic. I was thinking of kitsch. Uh, novel. Oh, kosher. Is it kosher? I'm not sure. Let me just put kosher in. Yes, it is, isn't it? That's very cleverly worded, actually. Because the if not authentic was immediately making me think that the definition, which is almost always at one side of a quick uh, cryptic crossword clue or the other. So it's normally at the start or the end. So I was looking at the end. I see, I see not authentic. So I was thinking of words like kitsch, um, which doesn't quite mean not authentic, but, but that sort of thing. Um, but actually, you've got to make the cut in a different position. The, the, between the not and authentic is where the cut is. So everything before that is the is the wordplay. And um, Ryder Haggard's novel, She, um, I think it was Ryder Haggard's novel. And now, now maybe I'm questioning myself. It wasn't Kipling, no. I think it was Ryder Haggard's novel. Um, she often comes up in cryptic crosswords because it's a short, short novel. Um, and then we've got cutting if not. Well, if not is or. So we've got K and then she in or to give kosher. And if something is kosher, it's authentic. So it's a clever, clever clue. Um, and it's given us, well, S and E at the start. Well, we'll try the A first, I think. Thrash, metal. So again, See how I read the clue there? It would be very natural to read thrash, thrash metal together uh, because thrash metal is a phrase. Um, try not to do that. <laughs> it won't help normally. Thrash metal about right for this band. OK, well, I think what this is saying is thrash or anagram the word metal and put that about R for right. And that's going to give us the name of a band. Now, we're not going to be thinking about the name of a rock band here. It's going to be a band of, uh, well, a rock band is in a pop band. It's, it's going to be a band of 
some other type. Armlet is what it is. Okay, I was trying to work out for the anagram as I spoke, uh, doing badly until it suddenly popped into my brain. Um, so we'll try nine across now. Um, maybe Arabic. Circles. Love analyzing signs and symbols. Sim symbolism? Sim no. Uh, maybe Arabic. Circles. Love. That makes me think we've got love can be O as in, well, uh, appropriately enough, a love score in tennis. So Wimbledon's going on at the moment. If it's 15 love, it means it's 15 zero, basically. I was thinking this the other day. Why are tennis scores so strange? Why does it go 15, 30, 40 game? Uh, I'm sure there's a simple reason for that, but it, it, it doesn't. Uh, it's, <laughs> it's very odd. Um, maybe Arabic. Arabic is a language? Oh, I'm not sure. Uh, let's try three down then. Unsatisfactory hearing. Well, I haven't got this yet, but air holst composed is screaming at me that that's an anagram of air holst. It's such an unusual collection of letters. So if you're looking at a clue and the, the letters used rather than the words used, the letters used look just they, they feel grating, they jar on you somehow. It's probably because the constructor needed to use those exact letters. And here, well, as I read the rest of the clue, air holst composed drinking whiskey. Well, whiskey is the international radio code word for W. So it's going to be an anagram of air holst around W, and it means unsatisfactory hearing. Um, and I haven't got it. A show trial. I have got it. I was trying to think of it the hearing as in something you listen to. So show trial is obviously an unsatisfactory form of justice. Let's try 12 across. Let's think avert, eject. Um, what happens in 11, 12 and also in 17 written out? Okay, so this is going to require us to know the answers, I think, to 11. Oh, 12 is this one. What happens? And also in 17. That's a, this is a very unusual clue for a time crossword. I don't know what's going on with that. Let's try four down. Um, emptied ideal sauce into soup. This adds flavor. Well, I think that this is an anagram again. It's, it's harder to spot this one. Um, so, but if I tell you it's an anagram, see if you can work out what the anagram fodder is. How do we get to the 12 letters that we need to anagram from this clue? And the key is the word emptied. And we have to be prepared when we read cryptic crossword clues to really do what it says. Now, if we empty out, normally we'd empty out a bucket or something, but if we empty out a word, what might that mean? So if we empty out the word ideal, what would we be left with? Well, we'd take out its middle and we'd be left with I and L. So I think this is an anagram of I, L, source, uh, into, oh, have I miscounted this? I have, haven't I? Ah, well, it's not this then. <laughs> That's total and utter nonsense. Oh, unless it's emptied no, I miscounted. I was thinking soup might actually be saying make a soup of it, anagram it. Did I deal? Hmm, this adds, I think it means this adds flavour. I'm trying to think of a spice that will fit and I'm not coming up with anything. Um, I don't really, well, let's try five across. It's normally very good uh, practice to use the checking letters that you get when doing crosswords. I'm sure I'm not saying anything um, anything that's beyond the ken there. Uh, where to pray, so perhaps temple, church, pagoda. Um, where to pray about games installed in rogue computer. Where to pray about games installed in rogue computer i wonder if rogue computer is hal from uh, is it 2001 space odyssey 
Now, if it was, we're looking for a kind of where to pray, beginning with H, ending in L. Oh, that's annoying. Oh, uh, no, chapel. Okay, about can be C. So I had to write again. So it's tricky. So about is being used for circa. So if we put, let's put C in then. Now let's put Hal around now. Why is AP games or PA? Games. P O P E Chapel. Oh, I've spelt chapel wrong. That's why. <laughs> I was getting obsessed with Hal. No, so P E is games at school. So P E has Hal around it after all after C for about and where to pray is chapel. Very nice. In China, majority group, is that the Han? H A N? Cry for attention. Oi. Hanoi. There we go. Um so that's um a little bit of general knowledge helped us to solve that one. Um, endless calm, peace around setter up for a bit of setting. For a bit of setting, placemat, placate. Oh, I like that. Yeah, okay. Placemat, let's have a look at that. Now, so what we've got here is placate. If you calm someone, you placate them. We date that endlessly, so we cut off its E at the end. And we put that around setter up. Now the setter of the puzzle uh, is referring to himself or herself there. So me is what's being used. So we have to turn me up. It's a down clue. So the word up can be used as a reversal indicator. And then we get placemat, which is a bit of a setting as in a bit of a table setting. Now eight down, instigator of luminaire, luminarism, luminarism. Well, that's probably the letter L, the instigator of the word might be the first letter of it, as well as visionary and Lancia. A visionary is a seer and Lancia was an artist. Lovely. OK, that's a good that's a good bit of solving in the top right. So let's try 10 across way to transport goods around island without success. Well, you might transport goods in a van. So if I put in van in and I put that around an abbreviation for island, I, and that gives us in vain. Now, again, I say this every week, but I cannot really say it enough. You cannot um, use, some people think that when we're, I'm explaining these puzzles or when, Mark, when Mark's explaining, when we say, say I can be island, we're just saying that any word can be abbreviated to its initial. That is definitely not true. You must get familiar, if you want to be really good at cryptic crosswords, with common abbreviations. Now, if I put I into the dictionary, you, we will find there immediately, I can be independence, independent, institute, international, island or isle, and Italy. And it has probably got more iodine, there we go, one, as in the Roman, Roman numeral. So it has to be justified by the dictionary. So it's not any word that we can use. It's only some words and only if they're supported by the dictionary. Let's try this one. It's going to end in ines, I think. E.g. ladies and gents. Toilets? Hiding pants? Showing eccentricity? Oh. <laughs> well, now we've just checked the dictionary. I do happen to know if we put E in here, E is E has got uh, E can be used for eccentricity, eccentricity of a conic section. There we go. So the, I don't think the Times normal crossword the listener would do it, but I don't think I've ever seen um, the Times crossword use E for eccentricity. But it would be justifiable. E.g., ladies and gents hiding pants, showing. I think this means eccentricity. So it's going to be something like weirdness or, I don't know, dodginess or something. E.g., lady, ladies and gents hiding pants. See, I think there's going to be a word, probably a five-letter word here that means pants. 
as in gasps or I was thinking whines for a moment, but no, that's not not the correct spelling and not the correct meaning. I don't know. Um, should we try 14? Where papers are kept in detectives investigation about plot. Um, where papers are kept is making me think of, of, of a briefcase or something like that. Detectives investigation. DI is a detective inspector. Apostrophe S. I quite like something like this. An investigation would be a case. So a dispatch a patch, yeah, dispatch case. That rings a bell. I'm not dispatch case. I'm not actually sure why that, that feels right to me, but I think I have heard of a dispatch case and a patch of land is a plot of land. So I quite like that as a possibility. That would give us a P in this one. Oh, this is the emptied source. Emptied ideal source. Source can be lip. Chili powder. Oh, I've done it. <laughs> um, I was saying I've done it, but that must be right. To put, to put L-I lip in the middle and a word ending in L-I and something I was looking for a spice, that's going to be right, isn't it? Emptied ideal. Yeah, so I was nearly, well, I'm sort of nearly right. Emptied ideal was emptying out the word ideal. That gives us I and L. We add that to lip, source. If you give someone source, you give them lip. You're a bit sassy, aren't you? And then chowder, go. so that goes into soup, chowder for soup, wow. And that gives us chilli powder, which is certainly something that adds flavour. Now we need to get this symbolic. It can't be symbolic and have symbols in the clue. Maybe Arabic circles love. Analyzing signs and symbols. Ooh. I think it means analyzing signs and symbols. But I don't know if I'm going to know this word, which is a worry. What's this one again? Oh, ladies and gents could be lose, couldn't they? Hiding pants. Yeah, it's going to be something like that, I think. With our five letter pant looniness. Nines. Why are nines pants? I really like that as a thought. Loo. If you're dressed up to the nines, is that some reference to your. Well, it's obviously some reference to your clothes, but are they pants? L l mm. Eccentricity. Looniness is, is just... Hiding pants. I don't know. Pants and nines. Or is there another word I'm not thinking of there? Loopiness, pines. Yes, if you pine for something, you pant for it. Oh, goodness me. I almost made a mistake there. But loopiness, okay, it means the same as looniness, really. I don't even know if looniness is a word. Should we look it up? Let's see. Looniness. Looney. Looney, it is a word. So if if we could justify nines as a word to mean pants, then that 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 clue would have two solutions. Uh, anyway, I'm sure it doesn't. Um, let's have a look at eleven down. Business people co. I'm thinking business. Whenever I see business in a, in a crossword clue, I think company. So I'm thinking co. People. I'm thinking men. So co-men is, is in the back of my mind as I'm reading the clue. Admitting ordeal is challenging. Com. Admitting an ordeal is a trial. Challenging. It, something's challenging. It's very. 
Uh, I don't know. Let's try it. Oh, we've got an H in this one. Dislike, hate. Eating meat I cooked. Could be an anagram of meat I. It's a source of iron. Oh, yeah. It's going to be hematite or something, isn't it? It's going to be the name of iron ore. Um, I'm sure that's going to be the answer. Hematite. is that? Has that got the right anagram of I meat in it? It does. I'm, I'll put that in. I'm not sure if that's if that's a thing or how to spell the thing, but um, I that feels it feels right, doesn't it? Twenty three. Assistant used online. Siri, Alexa. Oh, no. Why did I do that? Why? That's almost quite funny. If ever, you know, if ever a constructor ever did that on purpose, it would be very funny. Assistant used online articles about, well, Lex is the classical word, um, Latin word for law, I think. And articles, um, the indefinite article is A. So we've got two A's written around Lex, and that gives us that word there, which I'm not saying again. And absolute bobbins by way of crossing letters, look. Um, right, we could look at this one. We've got a W in it. Drudge. Well, this is going to be an anagram of bather's towel. That's, that is 12 letters. Drudge. Um, what is it? It's going to be... A drudge is a... Oh, why can't I just write this in? These are the, these are the things that annoy me when I solve because you're giving away so much time by even spending a moment thinking about what this is. Um, I want it to be something washer. And that would leave behind L note B A. Note bottle washer. Is that what it is? I think it is bottle washer. Okay, it took me far too long, but a bottle washer is a drudge. Now we get a B in um, 16 down. Pupil once is an old boy, so that's going to be OB. Expelled after losing head, complained. So it means complained. We need a word for expelled. Ejected, objected. Yeah, there we go. So we sort of put that together from the um, from the wordplay, really, but we, we we backed into it. Let's try and if we can get this. It should really help with the, um, the checking letters. So reportedly get the kinks out, straighten of distress. I quite like that. If you straighten something with with a ght uh, spelling. then then that would mean to get the kinks out so it's nothing to do with the band the kinks we aren't talking lola today um uh, or waterloo sunset or anything else <laughs> so but but it's a homophone for the word straighten now i'm just pausing there because i mean if you're in dire straits you're certainly in distress another band and actually in my opinion just about the best band there ever was. Um, Mark Knopfler, complete guitar genius. Anyway, my mind's going off now. Um, but straighten, I've, I've quite liked that. I'm going to check the, the, the EN ending here. 26 across. Someone refusing, denier, to accept old money. That's a weird clue. So, I mean, unless, oh, didn't, is that, is that, is there a type, I mean, I know there's a denarius was an old Roman clock coin. Maybe there, there was a variant of that, a denier as a, as a coin. See, someone refusing to accept feels like it's denier. The, the slight worry is there could be a five letter word for someone refusing. And then that accepts O for old to mean, to give us a word that means money. 
I, I, I feel like that's probably right. Let's try 21. Rash. Head of Armenia. So head of Armenia, we should always be thinking A. Don't think, oh, I need to know the name of the head of the Ar Armenian government. No, 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 no. Head of Armenia is just A, always. Head of America, they, they, well, they'd never refer to um, a living person other than the king. Um, so it, it's not going to be Biden. It, it will be just head of America is probably A. Um, so Rash, head of Ameri Armenia, gets behind old patriotic song anthem. Oh, is there is some word like ah? Oh, there is. There's a horrible scientific word for a rash. It's something. I don't know it. It's something like it ends like that. Oh, I'm going. I'm going to have to use the wordplay to get this letter. Um, head of Ar Armenia is A. Get older. So is it exanthema? Old can be X, as in. An old lover would be an X. A patriotic song is an anthem. So that that the wordplay would justify exanthema. And I am familiar. I think there is a word that ends anthema that means something to do with a rash. So I'm going to rely on the wordplay for the X there. 22. Lake house in Thanet, occasionally abandoned. Um, Tahoe is a lake. Okay, and how does this work? Well, you have to know, or you don't have to know, but it helps to know that HO is an abbreviation for house that's valid. Again, let's justify that so that you don't think I'm just talking nonsense. Um, HO, Holmium, and now it's not going to be there. There we go, HO dot house. So that's why house here is HO. And then Thanet occasionally abandoned is saying we, we want to take the regular some regular letters out of the word thanet and that will mean either the even letters or the odd letters so we can take the even letters out we would drop the h the n and the t we'd just be left with the t the a and the e we put that around the ho and we get lake tahoe so what's this then tetchy uh, little titchy uh, time followed by long year. Okay, so time can be T. If you if you long for something or pine for it, you itch for it. So that's itch. And then Y can be an abbreviation for year. So titchy goes in there. Um, let's just have another look at this one because this was what happens in 11, which, oh, we haven't got 11 yet. No, okay, let's go back once we've got this one. Um, contestable, contestament challenging contest contestation people could be a nation aha there we go contestation i think let's try and justify it so we've got business co that's what we thought might happen i thought people was going to be men but i think instead it's nation and you can see that's going to have test left in the middle of it and that's because the business nation the business people, sorry, the co-nation needs to admit it needs to include a word for ordeal. And an ordeal is a test. And that gives us contestation, which is challenging. Um, and now look at all these horrible letters we've got in the bottom right. Or nothing useful. Let's try this one. Forbidding. Nurse. Tend. To bind. Hip. If something's hip, it's in. It's fashionable. Sister, sinister. Well, there we go. Okay, we just have to come up with the right um, synonym for nurse there, and we managed to do it. Let's try twenty-seven. Return <laughs> returns from Bury St Edmunds initially, going inside. Bury hmm, inter. I want this to be something like to bury is to inter. Returns interest. Is it just? Is it sort of? I think it might be interest. I want to think about this. Yeah, I think I think this works. It's clever, very clever wording. So the returns on your money would be the interest you earn on your money. 
And how does this work in terms of the word play? Well, if you inter a body, you bury it. So inter goes in. We then have st, which is just there, st at the end of the word. And Edmunds initially is the initial letter of the word Edmunds, and that needs to go inside inter an st. So we pop that inside, we get interest, and now we just have to try and get these, these 19 down furniture from person a crossword is compiled. <laughs> That's lovely. Okay, so the setter of a crossword might set a puzzle in cryptic language for the settee of the puzzle. The receiver of the puzzle is the settee. Very nice. And of course, a settee is more commonly an item of furniture. Um, so we just need this one now, and then we've got to go over here and understand what's going on. So incentive to turn up during motor ra racing. Motor racing could be a TT race. Incentive. Um, to turn up during motor racing. Unless that's an anagram of motor. Why would that be? I mean, it, no, this is an incentive. It's just a word for an incentive. I just haven't got it yet. An incentive is a. T I want to keep wanting to say target. Um, carrot, maybe. Oh, car. Oh, gosh, gosh, it's a hidden. Wow. Okay. All right. So that's where a little bit of knowledge is a dangerous thing. So I'm familiar with TT racing, which is a time of kind of motor racing. So I was thinking because I had the T at the end and I'm seeing during motor racing, I was trying to put a T at the beginning and I couldn't come up with a word, but it's, it's a totally different reading I needed there. So an incentive is a carrot. You might have heard, heard the expression, a carrot and a stick. The carrot's the incentive part. Um, so, <laughs> so to turn up during motor racing, well, there's normally one of these in every time's crossword, but they can be very hard to spot as we've just seen. And you might see turned up or reversed, it's a down clue, remember, within the phrase motor racing, spelt out, we've got going backwards, C-A-R-R-O-T, carrot. So it's actually there for us in the clue, if we know how to read the clue correctly. Right, let's go back to this one then. So what happens in contestation 12, where's 12? Oh, this one, which we haven't got yet. And also in 17, Oh, no, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm now thinking this might be event, because 17, if you write it out, has got event in it. I'm going to just put event in and try and understand that. A contestation is an, a contest is an event. 12, 12. Twelve. What happens in contestation? I don't quite understand what the twelve is doing there. What happens in a contestation might be an event. Or it might be referring to the fact that contest appears in the word contestation and a contest is certainly an event and if I write out the word 17 rather than I don't th I think well I think it could be to do with the word straighten but I think the word you know I can see event is there if I write out the word 17 but why is the 12 there what happens in 11 contestation 12 12 even t I don't quite understand that and it, I mean it's possible it's wrong but I, I think I really like the fact that 17 has event written in it and th an event has certainly something to do with the word contest the thing I don't understand is 12 here what happens in 
I'm thinking of the word 12, T-W-E-L-V-E, and trying to see whether or not that's... That's got something to say about why this is what it is, if indeed it is that. But that, if, if that's all correct, we, we're going to be left with the Arabic circles. Maybe Arabic. Circles love. Analyzing signs and symbols. Sim what well circles love that must be this o i think so that would mean i need a seven letter word that means maybe arabic is it something like Say something like Semitic or something, but maybe Sim, maybe Arabic, Simotic. Sim. Symbolia. I mean, I don't understand what symbols doing in the clue. If this is something S, I don't think it is S Y M at the start. Maybe Arabic. Arabic numerals. Arabic. You get an Arab horse, but not an Arabic horse. Sem. Signs and syllables. Is that something? I want to say something like semantics is what I'm trying to get my brains going towards. Seman analyzing signs and symbols. Well, it's got to be a vowel. <laughs> it's got to be a vowel there, hasn't it? Um, So I'm looking for a word that means maybe Arabic, that's either Sam, Sem. I think I like Sem more than Sim, Som or Sum. Sem, Semi, Semiotic. Semiotic, that might be it. I'm, I might even have heard of that word. And Semitic could be maybe Arabic. Semiotic. So there are two or three question marks here. I don't know denier. I don't know semiotic. I mean, I haven't heard. I'm a dispatch case is a slightly, a slight guess, but I, I feel that one I've heard of hematite that well that looks good doesn't it that's gone in without an exanthema so quite a few words but i think i would submit this and we will find have we got it right we have that's good okay all right so that's not a terrible solve um a difficult puzzle with some difficult words and we were very much relying on wordplay so let's let's have a look semiotic semiotics nouns oh i see it's there is an adjective uh, in semiotic form the study of signs and symptoms mm, okay semiology wow well, didn't know that do now now let's see is there a word denny oh look it has got a, there we go an old small French silver coin, later a copper coin of the value one half sou, hence a very trifling sum. I mean, that's evil, isn't it? So old money is being used. You have to come up with 
denier. Uh, maybe I maybe I'm mispronouncing that. Maybe it's not pronounced denier. Yeah, it looks like more like denier there, doesn't it? Um, <laughs> that's very funny. Um, now, what else have we got? What else did we have there? We had a uh, bottle washer. We understood. Uh, interest sinister. Oh, exanthema. I'm going to look up that. I think it's a type of skin rash. Yeah, there we go. Skin eruption accompanied by fever. Wow. Um, is there anything else that we were unsure about? Knapsack. Oh, well, there's the event, wasn't there? I don't understand. Someone, I look forward to the comments for anyone who can under, under explain why it was 11-12 uh, or something, wasn't it? 12. What happens in 11? We've got the contestation going on. 12. You can't, it can't be self-referencing. What happens in 11, 12 and also in 17 written out? I, I'm intrigued as to understand how that, that one works, 12 across. It's a very interesting clue. And I have a horrible feeling it's incredibly clever and I'm missing something. And I'm not going to give the constructor the credit they deserve because I can't quite, my brain isn't being clever enough to understand it. It's a lovely puzzle and, and it is difficult, that one. Um, so very well done if you if you solved it. Very well done if you got some of the answers more quickly than I did as I went through. Apologies for any stupidity you witnessed. And I hope it was useful. Let me know in the comments how you got on. I enjoy the comments, especially when they're kind. And we'll be back later with another, uh, another edition of Cracking the Cryptic.